Hey everybody, coming at you guys today with a Lego video that's infinitely more fun for me than it is for you because I got a Lego Elves set over here. Uh, you might be asking why. That's a that's a valid question, and I'll explain it. So I was at a road trip of sorts with a lot of my friends yesterday, and we were in a different state. And in that state, there was a mall, and in that mall, there was a Barnes and Noble, and in that Barnes and Noble there was a Lego Elves set on this 30% off table. And this 30% off table had all your favorite Lego. They had Rogue One Star Wars buildable figures that no one bought. They had brick heads that no one bought. They had Lego friend sets that no one bought. But in between all of those was a Lego Elves set. Which is weird because this Barnes & Noble also had all the current stuff. They had the Lego Overwatch stuff, the new Harry Potter stuff, all of it like really stocked. But they had all this old stuff in the front, which I don't have no idea how this exists. But this has been off the market for about two years. And for those of you who aren't uh, uninitiated into the Lego Elves lore here, these are incredibly expensive. Like, they're some of the sets are double the value of their original just like two years after. I don't know why. Maybe because I think it's because only a few of them got like a limited run. But I'm excited. I'm really excited to get one new and also for $28 because it was 30% off. Um, I've, I never had any experience with Lego Elves before other than getting that boat, which is broken, and I need a new one, but, you know, whatever. And I got that one off of eBay. This is like an in-store purchase, which seems insane to me. I, I didn't get it to, um, I didn't get it to resell. I got it simply for me, although I'm thinking that now I should probably buy one of these open and sell this one, depending on how much it's worth, because if I'm only going to open it, why would I, why would I bother, but who knows, I'll probably just open this one, because I do want that. There's a certain uh, opening the box factor, I think, that uh, is lost when you're buying things on eBay, like I bought that one. So, who knows, but I got that, and for those of you who are still around somehow, I went to Michael's and got two types of paint for a new figure. I have no idea if it's the right type of paint, it's just, it's not the gloss one. I don't know if I used those before, but it looks like it. Yeah, it's the right type. All right. <laughs> That's good. This is, uh, this is why the good deeds go a long way, my friends. This is why they can pay off. I got an uh, Overwatch copy of uh, Overwatch Orig Origins Edition for the PC for absolutely nothing. I my oh, A few months ago, my friend got a new Xbox, and I had my disc version of Overwatch, and I already bought it digitally because I wanted to play it everywhere I went. And... <laughs> I was like, here, just have my copy. And then he goes, hey, my girlfriend got me this one. I don't play PC, and I know you got me that console edition, so here you go. So I got a brand new uh, PC version of Overwatch, and I think that was a rather good investment of karma on my part. So that is really what I did yesterday. I didn't get a lot of stuff because uh, I am broke, so... <laughs> That's where this video about ends off. I don't even know if I'll post this. It was just like a really fun experience. I never thought I'd find a Lego Elves set in stores, ever. If if there was one place, however, I know I'd find it in Barnes & Noble. I found some in Mass, and uh, in, in um, Vermont, right? But in Vermont, it's like all those mom-and-pop shops, and it was literally, I kid you not, an extra 50%. These were $60. And I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. So, I, I mean, this box is in great condition. Other than a little tear, so...